We all recognize that classic whistling sound a kettle makes whenever your tea is ready, and from different scenes in life. That sort of begs the question, how do kettles whistle? My first thought is that a kettle uses the same mechanism which people, not me, use to whistle. But that actually turns out to be pretty wrong. The first mechanism is the one we recognize, the whistling part. This is where you're blowing a column of air through a little tunnel, which you see when you open the kettle, and that little hole creates an unstable jet, and that makes a recognizable whistling sound. For the second part, let's imagine a kettle, and let's zoom in on the neck portion. We already know as the first jet hits the first metal plate, it forms vortices, and these vortices form that whistle part. Now the second part is as it exits the kettle, as this, as this jet leads this kettle is very unstable and as a result it forms vortices outside which actually amplify that whistling sound and makes that classic high pitched sound we recognize and lets you know that your tea is ready. So next time you're watching Shrek or you're making tea in a traditional kettle, pay attention to that whistling and really appreciate the science to let you know that it's time to get your tea ready.